If you are familiar with Android devices at all, you've probably heard of APK files, but what exactly are they? Well, in essence, they are a program installation file. So you can think of it similar to how you can use .exes or .msi files on Windows to actually install stuff. However, one thing to remember about APKs is that they have pretty much everything that the program needs to be installed in one single convenient file. So it's not like you get a zip, for example, with all of the different files inside of it. Here, it just all compiled into just one singular file. Now, while you don't usually interact with them a lot, given how you just install stuff via the Google Play Store, there are still uses for it, and there could be occasions where you could end up using APK files. For example, to download and install stuff that isn't available on the Google Play Store for one reason for another. One famous example recently has been Fortnite, given its removal from the Play Store and then launched a very own Epic Store as well instead. It could also be that if you're using some highly specialized piece of software, say from your work, for example, Example, well, obviously they aren't going to be posting it publicly on the Google Play Store and instead they'll most likely just give out an APK file for individual employees to install on their own. Also, it could be that you just use some third party APK repositories where you can find programs unavailable on the regular Google Play Store. That way you can also get files that maybe aren't intended for your device but are still compatible and that way you can still enjoy them on whatever specific Android device you have that has that specific app blocked on the Google Play Store. So for example, back in the Pokemon Go days, what many people did is use APKs to install Pokemon Go on Android tablets, which did not officially support the app. And if you try to get it from the Play Store, it just wouldn't work. So APKs were a way of getting around that. And with all of that, as you can imagine, APKs can also be used for less than legal stuff, like for example, piracy. But okay, how exactly do you then install APK files? Well, it's pretty simple. Once you are on your phone, simply go into your files and then find where the APK file you got is. So most likely it will be in your downloads. And then simply just tap on it and it's gonna get installed. Now, if you like tinkering around with this kind of stuff, you can actually extract an APK file to get access to all of its contents. The way you do that is by moving it over to your PC and then renaming it to end in .zip rather than .apk. Then just simply extract it and voila, you get all of the files included inside. So that is pretty much everything you need to know about what an APK file is, how to use it, and how exactly you can get your hands on everything inside. So if you found this video helpful, maybe subscribe to How To Authority for more like this in the future.